We've got a new star season out for 3.24.3 PTU pass just dropping not too long ago. Let's see what's in it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an Alti Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. CIG made a few changes with this one. Uh, we're just going to get straight into it. Test and focus remains at stability buff fixes, IAE halls, uh, new global event, the new Polaris, and the new Star Lancer Max. All right. Um, they made a few changes pertaining to features and gameplay under the ships and vehicles category. They did a performance lighting VFX and art polish pass for both the Polaris and the Star Lancer Max. All right. There's a few bug fixes for this one. They fixed an issue where the Polaris torpedoes do not restock. That's a big one. They fixed an issue where the Atmo heating effects is too small or weak for the ship this is for the r side polaris also for the r side polaris it says the polaris turrets have incomplete atmosphere volume so they fix an issue where the mounted turrets located at various fps locations do not fire so now this is for uh the fps uh gameplay uh for mounted turrets they fix an issue where saber raven weapon rack spawn outside of the ship when equipped with a livery they fix an issue where there are Viseria issues with the component bays and cargo bays doors in the 400i. They fix an issue where the uh, ramp of the Miss Starfarer and Starfarer Gemini do not extend blocking access to the vehicle. Along with this is one client crash and eight server crash fixes. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization Phase 1 Industries is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one